Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel, I'm Splinter and um, in this video I'm going to be showing you my uh, latest sketchbook and this sketchbook took about three months to finish I would say, something like that and it's uh, dedicated to cars um, but not uh, but as in a, a, a way to, you know, better uh, understand uh, perspective. That was my, my goal for, for this sketchbook. Um, and cars seemed like a, uh, you know, a good su subject to, to draw. Uh, this is a, the pickup truck from the movie Twilight, as requ requested by my girlfriend. She's a big fan, of course. Uh, and yeah, as I was saying, this is just a... Uh, cars seemed like a, a good subject to, to draw and understand perspective. Um, in those uh, first pages, uh, uh, I was using a, a Lego model. Um, actually, I got it right here. I was using this this model as a, as reference, which is cool because Legos you can you know take a, take them apart and look at uh, the different components in different points of views, and you know that that always helps. But uh, as I went went along, I uh, started looking at different uh, different car models. Just so, so I wouldn't get bored. Um, so I also use the references from Pinterest, Instagram, and a website called supercars.net. Uh, and yeah, you know, um, I recorded. Pretty much, uh, not all of it, but uh, you know, the, ma the majority of this sketchbook uh, I recorded. Um, so you can, if you want, if you're interested, you can find the videos on my my YouTube or my Instagram. Um, I made longer versions and shorter versions uh, as reels or shorts. Um, I don't know what happened here, I probably forgot about this too, so let's pretend that they don't exist and move on. Um, this is a spinner from the movie Blade Runner, pretty good, pretty cool movie in my opinion of course. And yeah, this is the truck from Terminator, Ter Terminator 2. Um, as I draw, I usually listen to music or have um, movies in the background, so that's probably why I drew that. Um, this one is a Fiat uh, from you know the 19s, 19 whatever. It's a pretty old car. Uh, you should search for it on uh, YouTube. Search for Beast of Turin. It's a pretty cool, pretty huge vehicle. You can see the, the person here driving it and how big it is in comparison. Uh, so uh, for materials I was using you know just a, a regular ballpoint pen by Bic. I don't know if you can see that uh, there yeah by Bic. So this is pretty cheap you can cheap you can find it. Uh, anywhere and uh, this uh, this sketch I mean it's not even a sketchbook it's just a, you know it has blank pages but they are pretty low quality you can see through them you can see the other side of the page but uh, it costs around uh, one euro and fifty cents you know? nothing too expensive there's no need to waste to spend too much money. Mm. 
And yeah, these last pages I went for um, rally cars and Dakar cars because uh, it's something that I, that I really, really enjoy. Um, I remember being a kid and be watching these crazy guys on uh, on TV, you know, such such a, Dakar especially being such a huge event with some crazy cars, um, and you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, by the end here, I think I was you know, getting better at uh, giving a, a sense of motion to the vehicles, like here with the, the dust trails and all these uh, little stones and dirt flying around. Um, and yeah, so this is pretty much the end. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I tried to finish the sketchbook with a little uh, illustration but uh, I'm not very happy with it to be honest but it's okay I guess there's always another sketchbook to fill um, and yeah this is the this is the end of, of the video I hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this video consider giving giving it uh, a like you know, sharing with friends, um, subscribe to this channel, also you can follow me on Instagram at uh, splintersketch, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, um, so take care of, of yourselves guys, keep on drawing, and uh, don't give up, bye!